Okay, so for the second part, we are going to be calculating the pH of a solution formed by mixing 20 milliliters of 0.15 molar um, sodium hydroxide with 25 milliliters of 0.185 molar hydrochloric acid. So whenever we are doing these types of problems, we always want to work in moles. Moles are king, so let's go ahead and start work on this problem. So we have 20 milliliters of 0.15 molar NaOH and 0.185 molar and 25 milliliters of HCl. Now we know that these, this is a strong acid and a strong base so they are going to completely neutralize uh, well, all of the mole, if we have like one mole of, of sodium hydroxide and one mole of hydrochloric, they're going to completely neutralize into water and salt. Um, so essentially what we have to do is we have to figure out which one is left over. So how many um, moles we have of each. So let's go ahead and first start off with this 0.15. So I'm going to go ahead and put 0.15 and I want you to write to think of molarity as moles per liter because then it makes so much more sense when you're doing these calculations. Now, what do we have to multiply this in order to get just moles by itself? Well, it becomes clear that we need to eliminate liters on bottom. So to eliminate liters on bottom, we have to put liters on top. And how can we do that? Well, we can use this 20 milliliters over here. So we're going to put and remember to convert from liters to milliliters, we just move the decimal over three spots. One, two, three. So we're going to multiply by 0 0.02 liters. And that will give us our um, the number of moles from the sodium hydroxide. Now a similar calculation can, well, I guess I should solve this first. So that's going to be 0 0.003 moles of sodium hydroxide. And same thing goes for calculating the hydrochloric. So we've got 0.185 moles per liter. And what do we have to multiply that by? Well, the 0 0.025 liters. And that will give us 0 0.004625 moles. So which one do we have more of? It looks like we have more hydrochloric. So then what we want to do is we want to figure out, so remember what for each one mole of sodium hydroxide we neutralize one mole of hydrochloric. So we can essentially just subtract these two from each other. So minus this 0 0.003 And that essentially gives us our net result, how, how, essentially how many hydrochloric uh, moles of hydrochloric acid we have left after this reaction takes place, which is going to be 0 0.001625 moles of hydrochloric. And now we know that hydrochloric is a strong acid, so it'll fully dissociate, which means um, all we have to do then is figure out what is the total volume and what is the concentration of the hydrogen uh, ions. So remember we mixed 20 milliliters and 25 milliliters so our total volume is 45 milliliters. So then this is all over 0 0.045 liters and that should give you a 0 0.036 and if we know what moles per liter, what unit that is, that's molar. So that is 0 0.036 molarity, so that's the concentration of hydrogen ions. And simply all we have to do from this point is go ahead and convert that into pH, which if we go into your, whoops, into your lab, we should be able to find that equation.
So here we go. The concentration of hydrogen ions is equal to 10 to the negative pH. So that means that this is going to be equal to 10 to the negative pH. And I'll put a little divider line here so you don't get mixed up with the previous problem. Um, so now how do we finish this off then? Um, you need to understand how to do how to what what how logs are applied because I don't think they actually simplify this any further. Um, so when you have 10 to the negative pH on one side and 0 0.036 on the other side, what we have to do is we have to take the log of both sides. So we take the log of 0 0.036 molar and what that does is it gets rid of the 10 to the power because this is log base 10. If you don't understand that, I highly recommend you look up how uh, the rules on logs. And so we get that equals negative pH. So then we just multiply each side by a negative and we get pH equals negative log base 10 of 0 0.036. Most calculators, you don't have to plug in the base 10. Um, you just have to type in log. And that is all the calculation. Those are all the calculations you need to know how to do for lab two.